Hey, it's DVO here. We're playing in the 50s, or we are mudding in the 50s. I would not recommend doing something like this. Uh, yeah. I mean, look at the thing. It's slipping all over the place. I'm filling it up with more mud than seed. It is late spring. We should have had this already into the ground. I'm trying to get some little spring wheat down in the ground, but I'm not having any luck whatsoever. Literally, my drill is uh, sliding all over the place. Oh, man. When I get on this hill, it just it slips down to the hill like that. It just falls right down to the hill. Doesn't even uh, track right. I mean, I'm, I'm missing spots all over the place. This is just not going to happen no matter how much we want to force these wheat seeds into the ground. I really wanted to get the benefit of this rain on them, but uh, I think it probably will crust up the ground way too much anyways. And they won't grow, sprout, or we'll have a really bad germination. I mean, look at the thing. It's over there slipping off to one side, filling up with the disc full of mud right there. You guys probably can't tell, but this is a, a new 720. Trust me, it's new. I just picked this up, this tractor up from the dealer just a few days ago. And it's already covered with mud. Yeah, this isn't a good idea. So, uh, we're gonna stop at least for the day. I, I don't know, it's just so entertaining. I just can't stop. Like, where, what is it going to do now? Pick it up. Uh, well, well, I might get stuck trying to get out of the field. Oh man. Well, I guess uh, that's where she's gonna stay. The rain will give it a nice little washing. All right, gotta feed the cattle. Hook up this. Hopefully, feed some corn here, and it'll at least keep them happy in this day of nice rain. Ugh. Yeah, it's nasty out here. Kinda do got a little bit of corn there yet. I don't know. I guess we're gonna have to sweep that up. Alright. I guess they got a little bit more corn. Gotta get them uh, steers nice and fat so I can take them to market. Cause, uh, I need a little pocket cash, if you know what I mean. Hitcher. We are good to go. Let's run down here. Let's get to the diner. I gotta get me some meatloaf in my belly. Daddy always said, one meatloaf a day will keep the doctor away. Or was it apple? I can't remember. One of them two. What is Sam doing over here? Sam looked like he got him a new tractor. Taking the tractor to get it repaired. One of the two. Huh. Don't know what he's doing. Hmm. Our sweet little town here. Their giant flour mill going there. I ain't bad about it. You gotta listen to that thing the whole time you're in the diner. Go around and around. Oh. Pinky and little green are here. It's like the Kermit Frog and uh, the. Man, the pig. Er, uh, man, she's. Man, what's that pig's name? Can't think of it. Oh. Look. Oh, it's gonna come to me here pretty soon. That's what it, these two trucks remind me of. Oh, well. Enough of this. We need to get some meatloaf. Oh, looks like this is Sam pulling up. What's up, Sam? Hey, hey, come on. Come over here and let's go into the shelter in the gas station here. Hey. I, I need a favor, man. What's up? Well, I, I'm behind. Uh, I'm very behind. Really? Yeah. You I, got a lot of acres. I bet you're behind. This is a yeah. terrible spring. I mean, look, it's been wet almost every single day. It even snowed in the spring. I mean, what? This is like the most unlucky. I don't remember. It's, I can't remember I, a spring worse than this. 
I don't either. And the worst part about it is I, my uncle, the guy that, you know, I've been farming his place for him this past couple of years, he's kind of been, you know, he hasn't been feeling well. We don't know what, but he's kind of hasn't been feeling well, so I've been off by myself. So I'm really behind now. So I need, I really need a hand, man. Man, anything you want, need. What do you need? Well, after this rain over, I'd really like to try out and get my tractor out and, uh, you, you know, want, get You want to go out over. in this mud? Yeah, I do. I, I, I have to, I really need to. You need to flip some mud chunks, huh? Man, what do we need to do? Plow in this stuff? The plow would probably be the only thing you can do. Well, it's on corn stalks, so I've, you know, you can, uh, I can, you know, I've got some little grip there. It's not like it's on solid dirt. All right, man. Whatever you need, I'll be there. But whew, this will be the muddiest I've ever plowed. That's for sure. And, and if you come help, I'll let you see my new treat that I purchased. It's traded, I guess. I might have saw it. I saw a truck going by my house earlier. What, my new 800 series? I don't know what it was. It was at a distance, but it was new and green. Yeah, that would be mine. Oh. I, mean, I don't really know much tra new tractors running around here. All right. I'm intrigued, but hey, man, if it's your ground, I'll do whatever you want. Probably not on my ground, but if it's your ground, hey, let's let's flip some mud out there. Boy, oh boy, the ram dirty. Whoo, whoo. Thing I have uh, windshield wipers on this truck. Whoo, the last truck I didn't have windshield wipers, and let me tell you, reaching out the window with a rag. Is not easy not something I'd wish on anybody so we're gonna end up plowing Sam's back 40 uh, let me tell you what it is terrible out there you could see some of my that wheat actually came up so it's been raining probably three days straight it's been horrible out there just rain rain and more rain I've been having problems just uh, feeding my cattle just because it's so muddy, so nasty, you can tell the ram it's getting abused out there. Sam is a little nervous out there, so we gotta help him out. I just don't know which tractor to use. Hmm. I really wanted to use the old 720, but it's kind of stuck out there in on the planter. Hmm. I guess. Probably just because it's going to be so sloppy muddy out there. I guess we got to use the the farm all here. So it's the only it's the best chance we have out there. We don't have duels on the side of it. I guess maybe the super 88 would be a bad would be all right. But I think the tread. Old McCormick Farm All is better, so yep. Starts up. Get our old uh, five bottom plow right here. The other day, one of the cows was stuck down in a mud pit. Whew. Let me tell you what, that was crazy trying to get her out. Wow, he has some corn growing up. Man, look how high that corn is already. That's higher than my corn. Why am I helping out Sam again? Hey, I don't know. I, I'm helping him out because it's a neighborly thing to do. It's just the right thing to do. I know he has a lot of ground. Uh, into, I would not be in my on my land right now. Uh, I think I see Sam up there. I can't believe how high his uh, corn is already. Crazy. Uh, yeah, he's he's right up here. Let's see uh, what he's doing. He, I think he's got the cultivator out over there. Oh, that doesn't look good. Show Sam how it's done here. Hey, uh, 
Sam. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what What are you doing back there with that deer? Well, she only has three. They don't have three point options for these. Oh, I see. Oh, that's too bad. I would just like to point out that uh, you've been here what five minutes or so. Yep. And I think you have uh, made about uh, five foot of progress. I guess I may have to go get the uh, the other the other tractor, the 806 maybe. Look how much I'm slipping here. I am like sliding all around here. It's making a mess here. You feel? You sure yeah. you want to do this? I mean, I I gotta do something, man. At least let's turn it over. All right, well, let's do it. Good thing we have this front wheel sis because whew, this is messy as all get out. I'm pretty sure we're making this worse off than it was before. But man, these corn stalks, look how thick they are. They definitely need to be flipped over. Otherwise, he's going to have no luck uh, planting this in. Now, you got to take for granted, we're in the 50s here was really no there was uh no such thing as no till so there is we're gonna have to uh conventional till this land and we are in a predicament and i am leaving a mess of uh flipped plowed field here look at all the misses i did oh my goodness kind of slipping a lot on this uh, sandy top of this hill. It's kind of surprising. Oh, is this uh, farm boy coming down here? Oh, wow. He is uh, stuck bad. Whew. Man, is he stuck bad. Burying that thing, huh? Yeah, I know. It's, uh, I probably ought to, uh, take one of the duels off, but I don't think it'd make a difference. I don't think you would go anywhere if you take one of them duels off, as bad as you're slipping. You got a little stuck there, didn't you? Farm all sunk down while I was... Uh, I was gazing at you. Oh, man. Whew. This ain't good. This ain't good. Ooh. Do you have anything to pull this thing out? My tractors are so heavy. There's, I've got them weighted down so much. Like this one is not weighted down. I don't. That probably is your advantage today. It's thinking to China right now. Whew. Uh, I think we're doing more tilling action with the tires than we are with the plow. To be honest. You're probably right with that one. Yeah, I mean, I, I might be able to go. We don't have. We're gonna have to walk back, aren't we? Yeah, we probably are. We probably. Are, you probably gotta start. I'm gonna go turn my key off real quick. Give me a minute. All right, now let me sh shut off the old tractor here. Oh man, that thing is all the way to the rear axle. Rear man, trans training right there. You know what might work better actually? I wonder if the, I don't, would, would, my, would your truck work better? Bring yeah. the ram over here? Whew, maybe. Yeah, let's bring that thing over here. Oh my goodness, Sam. Whew. You got all your tractors stuck up here? You gotta be kidding yeah. me. Okay, so I, 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 shoot, I don't even know. Put one of them gear and you hop the other one. That's still, man, I can't believe that. It's just so heavy. I'm just gonna let it dry out. I really don't, it's not, there's no rain in the forecast for another couple days, so I guess we'll be good. Uh, that's a new way to plow a field. Whew. Wow. That's, uh, how many horses is that total? Dude, that's, I wasn't, they made a tractor that big. It's like a, I think it's like a, maybe a hundred, maybe almost 200 horses there. That'd be a bit. Wow. All right. I think this ram can pull out this uh, farm home. Yeah, because you got, you got full wheel drive and also both of them got full wheel drive, right? Is that ram? I don't really know. Yeah. So, uh, 
make sure the dip lock was locked in. Let's see if we can get this farm row out, and then hopefully we can add that to your train over here. Yeah, hopefully, yeah, hopefully. Yeah, let's see. All right, you ready, man? Yep, give her hell. Oh, yeah. Oh, it, it pulled it right out. What the heck? All right, man, let's, uh... Holy cow, I can't believe that was it's that been, easy. It's been, about, it's, been, it's been a little bit. I don't really know. The sun's been out a little bit. Cause how many hours? It's been three hours since? Oh, it's still muddy mess out here. Yeah. Though. All right, let's hook up this chain to the back of that 560. All right. Yeah, I'm ready to go for it, man. All right. Oh, go, here we go. go. Oh, man. Oh, oh I ran into my plow. Uh oh. Whew. Oh. I mean, don't go any further. Oh, okay, stop, 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 stop there. I can't believe the ram did her. Whew, yeah, we got a little, we got a lot of work here to do. Thank you all yeah. for watching. I will see you next time over here in Markville. <laughs>